Hey, welcome back to the SA Weekly Talk Show. Mike Callahan here with a different spin on things. Um, had a lot of people typing in and sending private messages, how to create a production rate based estimating system. So i uh, mix it up a little bit. We're going to give you some expert tips, how to use service autopilot, or uh, if, if you're not using service autopilot, maybe how to include this into a Google doc as your business develops. You may want to dive into uh, using service autopilot to, to streamline this process. Once I show you the power of the system, uh, but we're going to be going over today's production rate based estimating and how to set this up in service autopilot. So I'm going to go over two or probably three examples in the next 45 to 50 minutes. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Um, I'll try to get to those either live or recorded. Uh, first example is going to be a lawn mowing example with three different types of mowers for three different types of production rate based estimating. The second is going to be an example for mulch install with the addition of some extra equipment as far as a skid steer, loading, unloading, drive time, dumping debris, all the things that uh, as estimators, including myself, that we forget unless we have a standardized workflow process to go through. And then the third is for our home cleaning friends. Um, don't want to forget uh, people out there doing residential and commercial cleaning. We're going to go over the third process, how to do the three ways that most home cleaning companies uh, do estimates. So either by the size of the room, small, medium, and large, master bathroom, bedroom, um, combination of square foot of the home and size of room or just straight square footage. So going to go in that order. We're going to dive into lawn mowing, landscape maintenance slash install, and then home cleaning. Uh, comments or questions drop them below, but we're going to be diving in and showing you how to use SA to create production rate based estimating and tie all the pieces together for one smooth workflow. Uh, obviously this is live. So uh, bear with me if um, things get a little funky here and there, but we should be good to go. We've done this enough. Um, so I'm just going to set up my little cheat sheet here and get things rolling. So the first thing we're going to do here as we dive into this is we're going to go into SA. So I'm going to pull the screen down so you can see the full screen here and you don't have to uh, look at my ugly mug as we're doing this here. So as we're going in, uh, we are going to go in and that should give you the full screen there so you can see what we're doing. First main process we want to do is go in and create custom fields. Now custom fields are tied into the particular customer themselves. So uh, the first thing in the lawn mowing example that we are going to do is go in and create a turf square footage. So I'm going to go through and recreate everything here uh, live so you can actually see what this process looks like and then watch back and replicate it in your own service autopilot account. So uh, I'm going to name this FB here just for Facebook so we know all the ones uh, that we have here. Space hyphen space turf square foot. And we're going to associate that with the customer and the number. It's going to not be a text, but it will be a numerical value. And we're going to hit save and new. So the next thing we're going to want to do is um, drive time. So I'm going to make this Facebook drive time. And this will make a lot of sense once we get into this and you can actually see the workflow, how this goes in. Um, but I, like I said, I'm going to walk through the whole process here. So. If you're watching this live or later, you can watch recorded version. You can actually replicate this in your own um, setup. So next thing we're going to do is we've covered now the turf square footage, the area we're going to service. We've covered the drive time. Now, obviously, and this is a fictitious example. You probably want three or four different areas for drive time. So postal codes or zones, I'm going to break those out. It'd be drive time zone one, two, three, four, whatever that looks like. So next thing is in this lawn mowing example, we're going to go in and, and look at each size mower. So production rate based estimating, we're going to have different production rates for maybe a 22 inch mower, a 52 inch mower and a 60 inch mower. Now that uh, obviously each type of mower is going to take longer to cover 3000 or 5000 square feet. So as we're looking at this, we're going to do Facebook um, here and we're going to do 22 inch mower uh, customer and the value is also going to be uh, a number. And we're going to save and new again, and we're just going to go again, and we're going to create all three types of mowers as we're in here. And it's going to be a 52-inch mower. And as you're watching, I do have some pretty amazing typing skills here. I think the running joke over at SA is, when are they going to get Callahan some typing lessons? So uh, do bear with my typing skills here. I know they are brutal. Um, it's a simple man that pushes, you know, does lawn mowing. It's uh, self-taught for um, software. So. Uh, apologize about the speed of the typing here, but you'll get the idea real quick what's going on. All right, so now we've built out all three types of mowers and associated them to the customer. 
So now just as a quick recap, we've got turf square footage, we've got drive time, and we've got all three types of mowers in there. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is go in and set these actual services up. So we're going to add the services through add service here. And may have to refresh my browser. Yep, there we go. So as it's loading, we are going to go in and we're going to set up the custom fields. Now we're going to set up the actual service itself. And I'm going to use the same naming nomenclature here just so everything looks the same. But we're going to go in and create a parent service. So this is the overlying service of lawn mowing. And just for time's sake, I'm going to copy and paste this out. But you're going to need a code. You are going to need a tax rate. You are going to need the service mode. In this instance, it's going to be flat rate and an invoice description. Uh, as we're going through the next tab, uh, service account as well. I'm just going to call it service income. We're going to leave default rate, default budgeted hours alone. Uh, we're going to take care of that as we go in. In order to save a service, you are going to need an estimate description. To save time, I'm just going to paste that in. Um, and now, as we get into the rate matrix, we're going to actually set this up for the child services. So right now, we're going to leave this blank, but the next couple services, I'll show you how this is set up. So we should have everything that we need at this point to hit save and new. And we do. So the next thing we're doing is now as we're going in, we're going to set up the different types of mowers and the drive time. So I'm going to set up the drive time first. I'm going to call it drive time one. And what we're going to do here is go in and select a parent service. So this drive time now is associated with just lawn mowing. And that's all it's associated to. And we're going to say use an estimates only and check this click that checkbox. So that's going to compress that down for us. Uh, we're going to go to estimates and your actual rate matrix now and go in and select quantity rate times visits and we're going to base that drive time on the Facebook drive time. Now biggest question usually is how do we actually create a drive time and know what that's going to take as time wise. So what we're going to do is go in and use uh, one of the matrices we use to set this up. So in the example here we've got travel time. We've got one to one is the actual trip. And we've got a rate of 1250, 0.25 man hours, and a break even cost of cost of 10. So this was set up for the mulch example. Um, so I'm not going to recreate it, but basically this is going to give us a working blueprint. So we want to figure out each zone for a lawn mowing example, over 30 stops in a day, for example, on average, how much drive time between each stop is associated. So in this example, I'll tweak it here. Uh, if we said it was equals, let's just say, um, five minutes divided by 60, that's a decimal of an hour. So 0 0.083 and equals that time times our charge per man hour. It's going to give us $4.17, 0 0.08 man hours, and it's going to cost at $3.33 based on if we're charging $50 an hour and our break even per man hour is 40. So we're going to use that as our example just to plug this in here. So as we go back into services, uh, it's based on this. So every one to one trip is $4.17. Budget hours is 0 0.08. And we'll hop back just to see what that was. It was $3.33 expense. So we're going to plug that in. So what I would recommend is creating a Google Doc or an Excel sheet as a cheat sheet so we can just put everything as an executable blueprint outside of SA and then when you have it we can transfer it back in. Um, for good practice we're going to read just populate this again here. And now if we make multiple trips to this property we need to account for that we can have an executable blueprint to actually look at this. Now we're going to hit save and new. So now we've covered the parent service for lawn mowing and drive time. Now we've got three types of lawn mowers that we need to set up here. Uh, so it's going to be the same exact thing. We're going to do the Facebook thing here um, and we're going to do a 22 inch mower. 
and the parent service is FB lawn mowing. So that's perfect. We're going to hit use and estimates only, and then we're going to the rate matrix. Uh, we're going to do quantity rate times visit. Specified um, area here is going to be turf square footage. Based on square footage, this is how much production we're going to get out of each type of mower. Uh, we're going to go back to our cheat sheet here. I've made some of these already here, so I'm going to scroll down. And we have a 22-inch mower. So this is the same exact process um, as a certified advisor of uh, service auto pilot. That if somebody comes to us and says, hey, we really want to break out these matrix, how do we do it in the simplest form? Uh, this is a sheet that we use with them to get the information out of their head and get that into SA. So 22-inch lawnmower, um, we said one to 3,000 square feet. It's going to be a price of $37.50 based on 0.7 at five hours. It's 45 minutes to cut that. And if we were charging $50 per man hour, an expense of $40 to break even. Um, and then every thousand over this 3,000 here is an additional $12.50 in charge, an extra 0.25 man hours, which is 15 minutes, an additional $10 in expense. Um, obviously, these are fictitious numbers, but this gives you an idea of kind of how we're building this out. So we're going to take this cheat sheet here and go back to services and show you how this plugs in. So this is going to be from one square foot to 3,000 square feet is $37.50. It's going to take us 0.75 hours, and it's going to give us a cost of $20. Now we're looking at every thousand square feet over this 3,000. And this is right here. It is an extra $12.50 and 0.25 man hours more. $12 more, five man hours, and the expense of $10. So we're we're charging ten dollars, or we're charging twelve dollars. It's costing us ten to produce that labor, and we're going to save and new. So it's going to be the same exact process. Now when we go in to set up the mower for the fifty-two inch mower. Current service once again is that lawn mowing. We're going to do estimates only, rate matrix, quantity rate times visits. We're going to base that on a fifty-two inch mower. And we're going to go from one to 3,000, same exact example. And we're going to go back to new in, as an install cheat sheet here that we've created. Scroll down to service number six. And that's $32.50 and 0.65 man hours. And obviously, we're able to cut a little more grass based on the size of the mower. So those production rates are going to change. Um, and now that we've got that 52 inch mower at break even at 26 bucks, we're going to plug that in over here. So now we've got our base price of up to 3,000 square feet. It's going to $32.50. Should take the crew 0.65 man hours on site, not during drive time, in a budgeted cost of 26 bucks. Now we've got to figure out for every thousand square feet over this 3,000 square foot base, it is going to cost us. Uh, it's going to charge an extra nine dollars and seventeen cents and 0.18 man hours. Point one eight hours and seven dollars and thirty three cents. All right, save and do. So last part of this is going in now for the sixty inch mower. So we've got. We've got the mowing itself, we've got the drive time, we've got a 22-inch mower, a 52-inch mower, and now we're going to put a 60-inch mower. And I'll show you how this all comes together in a production rate-based estimating based on the square footage and the size of the mower. Next thing we're going to be jumping in is to a landscape install and show you how to break that out as well. So, 60-inch mower. Our code is a lot Facebook lawn mowing and we are doing uh, use and estimates only so we're going to pack back the rate matrix we're going to do quantity rate times visits based on turf square footage and one to three thousand square feet which again is our base and we are scrolling down here to 
60 inch mower. So one to 3,000 square feet is $27.50, 0.55 man hours. And we're gonna get a budgeted cost of $7.33. Oh, budgeted cost of $22. I got ahead of ourselves here. All right, and then we're gonna do every thousand square feet over the $3,000 base price, the 3,000 square foot base price. And that is going to be $9.17 and 0.18 man hours and expense of seven dollars and 33 cents it looks like i may have uh crossed the numbers for our 52 inch mower so i'm gonna go back and adjust that just so you can kind of see what that looks like And then we'll show you how to build out this template. But you can see here, we've got all the mowers and the parent service all lined up. So we're going to double check the 52 inch. I think I may have crossed the prices. So when we have a working model for this example, everybody can see what it looks like. So we've got 52 inch mower, 3250.65. Yep, correct. Every 1,000 over 3,000 base price should be $10.83.22. I did miss those numbers. So I want to make sure we correct those. And as you're doing this, these numbers are really easy to, to misapply. So you always want to do a double check and run a test client or two through it before you actually go live with this uh, estimating. So we got a budgeted cost of $8.67 per the uh, actually thousand square feet. Okay, so now we have uh, everything we need. We've got our custom fields, we've got our parent service, we've got our drive time child service and all three types of mowers. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go in and create a template. So this template is gonna preload everything in here so we don't have to recreate the wheel and we can delegate this and we can do estimates over the phone or live in the field with our, our mobile uh, each time. So this is how we're gonna do this. Um, so we're gonna name it. And so show and creating jobs and estimates for both. And very simply, we're just going to go in and add the items now. So the first thing we want to add in is just literally the Facebook lawn mowing apply. Now there's this plus sign. So now this is where we add our child services. So we're going to go in and select a service again, and we're going to pull up the Facebook lawn mowing instance. So we're going to do the drive time here. But when we do that, it's going to include all default subservices. For some reason, it's going to duplicate the first one here which is fine, we're gonna delete that out. Um, that was expected. And we're gonna go in and add uh, the rest of the services for the types of mowers. So we've got the 22 inch mower here and we're gonna add in the 52 and the 60. the 52 inch mower now we're gonna add the 60 inch mower now every time we go to do a lawn mowing estimate this is exactly what will populate in sa so now we literally the kelp field is going to populate the turf square footage so i'm going to save and close that you want to select an estimate document so this would be the document that preloads so you don't have to connect the dots so uh we're going to probably just do the normal uh estimate that i use in uh, service autopilot for simple growth, but it'll give you an idea of the workflow and this will automatically attach the email estimate uh, Behind the scenes. There's a thing called an estimate grid. This is where the estimates live in uh, And an estimate email you want to create those as well. I'm not going to dive into this in this video, but um, There are two other parts that take three to five minutes to set up very easy to do now. We're going to save and close this now as you're looking at this, I'm going to get a quick time check here at 1030. So I want to make sure I'm respecting everybody's time and wrapping this up by 11. You're probably wondering, 
how do we come up with these numbers if I don't know what my numbers are yet? So before we get to the estimate, I want to give you some background of the financial overhead recovery that we're looking at, how you can come up with this. Um, so I'm not going to dive into every little bit of it and get lost in minutia, but I'm going to show you how in a multiple overhead recovery system, a more system that we create production rate based estimate, we recover our labor, our employees and our equipment separately in three different parts to get this um, information that goes in the service autopilot. The first thing we do is we create an average wage sheet. So in this example, we would list all our um, employees here with their hourly wage, not including overtime and the projected hours work the whole entire season. What this sheet does is it's going to go in and give us an average wage of all the all the people in that division. So you have separate divisions, one for maintenance, one for hardscape. And those are completely different wage areas that you're going to be diving into. So you probably want to break out each division so it's more accurate. And then as we build out separate templates, we can have a separate average wage for maintenance and one for hardscaping or home cleaning. Uh, so we're going to get the average wage. We're going to put the percentage of overtime. So the percentage on, on average that someone is going to be working overtime, and then we're going to average those together. So the average wage with overtime right here. And then we know on average when we're bidding a job, whether they're working straight time or overtime, um, it's going to recover that overtime. Now, the next thing we're going to do is calculate our labor burden. This can be taken right from your payroll information. So we're going to go over your labor burden calculations. This is your FICA, unemployment, state unemployment, holidays, health insurance, uh, different things like that. This is a percentage of the dollar. And now we'll have a percentage uh, of labor burdens. And maybe this is anywhere from maybe 0.3 to 0.28% on the dollar. Uh, but we need what that is. So now we've covered our labor expenses. Next thing we're going to do is equipment costing. So what we're going to do in this next sheet is go in and take our trucks, our trailers if we have them, our mowers, and our maintenance package. Maintenance package is all the small handheld tools. We're not going to get lost the minutia of adding up all the shovels, the weed whackers, bed edgers those type of things. We're going to bundle them all together in one and have an overall maintenance package. So in this example here, I'm going to try to blow this up so on the screen share we can see this. Um, this is obviously a fictitious example, but in the truck vehicle here, we have purchase price, years finance, interest rate, years of use, salvage value is what we sell the truck at um, at the end of the day. Uh, we've got days per year, hours per day worked, and that's going to get us some final numbers here. We've got annual insurance, licenses, uh, lifetime insurance, total uh, fixed cost per hour. As we continue down here, we've got miles per year, miles per gallon, uh, fuel price per year, cost per fuel per gallon. So we're plugging in everything in the yellow cells. Everything else is calculating for us. Then we're diving into oil changes, the interval and the cost of those. Uh, tire changes, the cost of a tire change, the interval for those. And then as we scroll down, we've got additional maintenance. But at the end of the day, we know this particular truck in this fictitious example is costing us $6.81 to operate. Uh, that's our cost to operate this truck. As we scroll down, uh, we've got different mowers and machines. So maybe the 60 inch mower operating cost is $5.17. Uh, we're gonna go into tire changes, belt changes, uh, and like blades. And then your maintenance package is that combination of um, weed whacker, stick edgers, blowers, that type of thing. Uh, so maybe in this example, the, the operating cost of the maintenance package is $2.18. So we, we've got, now we have these costs and we're going to take them and plug them in and create a crew setup uh, to see what these costs are. I'm going to narrow the screen down here. And as we're going, I'm um, just going to check out some of the comments here. If there's anything that needs to be answered live as we're going. All right, so next thing we're looking at here is we're going to take all those things. So we're going to take that labor calculation that we got here, the average wage, and we're going to plug that in to uh, the hourly rate. So the hourly rate in this example is $9.75 for labor. And I'm sorry, right here up top. So it's a two-man crew, 10 hours a day budgeted. Average wage for mowing with overtime was $11.44. Labor burden for mowing, so that's a FICA, the unemployment, holiday pay, 1.34%. Overhead recovery is taking off your P&L projected. I'm not going to get into that uh, right now, but for argument's sake, we're going to call that 25%. Uh, and then we are going in here, and 
profit market with these examples, 15% labor cost is $441. So we know our labor is costing us $441 with the markup of 15% net profit. Uh, we're going to take our truck and trailer. So the truck and trailer off the equipment costing here, that bottom number. So the truck being uh, whatever it was, plus the maintenance package, these numbers down here are the numbers that are plugging in. So we're going to grab that truck and trailer uh, number. So $6.81 and whatever the trailer was. So as we go in, we're going to plug those numbers in off your sheet, particularly your equipment. So your truck and your trailer total is $10.10 uh, 10 per hour, 10 hours a day, overhead recovery of 1.25%. We're marking the profit up on that equipment, 15%. So truck and trailers cost us 145 bucks a day. So I want to give you some, some context to the stuff we're building in SA, where those numbers are coming from. We're just not pulling them out of the air. Uh, so the next thing we're doing is mowers on the crew, how many hours, uh, overhead recovery and profit. So the mowers are costing us 98 bucks. Maintenance crew or maintenance package uh, right here is $3.32. So this is all handheld equipment, how many hours are being used, overhead recovery and profit. The really cool thing now is when we subtotal this, we now know how much we need to charge per day in average sales to hit our profit goal. So when we're going in now, we know our daily sales goal is $720 a day. We break even before we make any money at $626. We have budgeted man hours of 20 hours uh, and a break even point of $31.30. So in order to make the 15% profit margin in this fictitious example, we need to build 36 bucks per man hour. Where these numbers are important is the break even point and the hourly bill rate goes into our cheat sheet. And that's where this is. So our bill rate and our break even is here. And that's, so the bill rates here and the break evens here, that's what calculates these prices we just built in service autopilot in the rate matrix. So um, if you really wanna dive in and have a sound understanding of the financials, that's how you would do it. And we would go in under services and literally go in and I'll, I'll pull up the one of the examples just so you can kind of see where those numbers play out. Uh, but we've got that 52 or 22 inch mower. When we have these numbers off that sheet, we now know on a, without any emotion what we need to do. So if we're going in and doing that mowing, we're breaking even at 31 bucks and we need to charge 36. Well, that's going to make it significantly easier for this rate matrix now because that cost in budgeted time reflect what we're charging and what it costs us. So that's how we come up with those numbers. So the next thing we need to do is uh, we've got this template. So let's actually give this a dry run and see what happens um, with that template. We'll pull it up and then we're going to go into the, the hardscaping example. And if we have time, the home cleaning example, uh, but I don't want to cut it short. So if we got to break this into two sessions, we'll do that. But I want to give you a working model that you can replicate. So, uh, next thing we're going to do here is go in. Actually, I think we'll actually create a lead just to so show you what this looks like from the beginning. So somebody calls, we're going to enter their information in to service autopilot. And once this loads, we'll get that in there. And I'm going to show you kind of the workflow as we, as we see it fit in our office and it's simple growth as well. We're going to grab their information. Um, we're going to get their address. Uh, obviously, we want to do the sales tax if we can and grab their contact information. The other thing a lot of people forget about while they're doing this is we really want to go into the sales tab and under source, ask people how they heard about us. So it was every door direct mailing. Perfect. Now we've done that and we can track the salesperson if that's appropriate for closing ratios. So now that we've got this, I'm going to hit save and pull this off. And now I'm going to show you how this template and the services all play into one system for a standardized workflow uh, based on production rate based estimating through a more set system that I just showed through the multiple overhead recovery system. So first thing we're going to do here, uh, Moment of truth, but I believe Maps Pro is enabled from the SA staff here. If it is, I'll show you actually how uh, this is taken from Maps Pro. If not, I'll walk you through the verbal version of what it kind of looks like when it, it happens. Um, but if you're looking at it, I would really highly recommend using something like Maps Pro uh, because it, it will allow you to measure the property, 
save the custom field, and then have that data drop directly into your estimate. So we're going to do in property measurements under the more tab. This is Maps Pro. I believe it's a little bit of an extra charge, but it's a very, very cool feature that, that saves hours and hours a week, especially at scale. So uh, once this loads up here, we're going to have the map, pulls it up, uh, Google Earth Satellite. So we're going to go in and use the uh, property measurement tool here and literally just highlight it. I'm sure people have seen this before. It's nothing uh, earth shattering by any means, uh, but this is the workflow. And it doesn't have to be necessarily perfect. Um, and if you know your target neighborhoods and your, your ideal client, you're probably going to be floating around in our instance, five to 7,000 square feet. So once we have that, uh, this highlighted area in purple, is 8,200 square feet, you can see right here. Now, let's just say they had a pool or for some reason we wanted to um, make an area add or subtract. So we could just dial out this area here and put subtract, and now it's subtracted there. So if you're using commercial properties of areas, you can uh, expand or contract the areas that you actually want to estimate. But the thing I want to show you is now that we're going into this custom field here, we can go in and take the custom field that we built out for turf square footage. And Facebook drive time. Find this here. And most people do not have this many custom fields, but we uh, have quite a few here at Simple Growth for all the done for you automations that we've done. So uh, give me a second here. I will find this turf square footage for you. Well, for time's sake, I cannot find it in here, but I'm going to just save it here uh, as this. So what you're going to see is once you collect that in, that custom field saved. Now it's saved to turf square footage. Now we're going to go and hit add an estimate. I'm going to show you how the template we built will actually be able to create different pricing based on uh, the different size mowers, drive time, and that. And then we'll get into the hardscaping example, which I know a lot of people want to get into uh, just to see how that's built out. So first thing we do is going to go in and select the template that we've already pre-built out. There's no need to fill out this uh, source or estimate document. All this stuff's already been connected when we did our first steps of connecting the estimate docket to the template. So the way I like to see it is we actually want to go in and create a process that uh, eliminates steps. So we're only learning one or two screens instead of having to click multiple places in the system. So we may have to refresh this here. Let's see uh, what's going on. The internet at the office has been a little choppy here. So I want to make sure that... Uh, we're getting the same thing here. So we're going to go in, load this up, hit add estimate, and then pull up that template. Once that loads, uh, the system will load everything in as far as the pricing based on that turf square footage. So it's a pretty seamless process. Is this loading? I'm going to just take a look here to see if there's any other comments that uh, people had questions re regarding what we're doing here. All right, what's up to uh, Perla, Robert, and uh, Garrett Faulkner watching live today, too. So I will uh, hop right back in here, and we're going to load this estimate here once this loads in. So now we've got add an estimate. We've clicked that. That's going to load the pre-built um, estimate area. We've measured it online through Maps Pro. And we're going to create this template once again. So as we wait for this to load, some of the things I do recommend as we're looking at this is, you know, we want to create an executable blueprint. We want to see uh, everything we need. So far as the custom fields, the services, everything else, let's get that done before we actually get in here. Now we're just plugging and playing. That's going to save a lot of time, a lot of confusion. So 
Uh, we're going to go in and plug this in. We're going to hit template. So this is going to load that Facebook template that we did for lawn mowing. And we're going to go in and apply. So now we're actually going to load that in. So as you can see here, if I had saved this to the appropriate thing, uh, the turf square footage would have loaded in for each one of these mowers. So I think it was about 8,500 square feet. This would automatically populate in there. So as you open up this screen, everything would have had that in there. And the prices per size mower would have automatically populated with a budgeted time, a cost, and a profit. So in this example, we would actually leave the lawn mowing blank. If we do in the drive time, we'd put the number one in there to add the drive time. And we would select the property or the mower. So let's just say on that property, we're using a 60 inch mower. So we're gonna get rid of the first two mowers. And now we've got um, that lawn mowing for all 8,500 square feet at 82 bucks. Uh, in addition, if you wanted to do the particular mowers at different sizes, we could change that out to, let's just say 3,000 square feet. And now you'd have that exact price. And if I didn't delete the other two first ones out, we could say maybe that 22 push, 21, or 22 push inch mower is only doing maybe 300 square feet in a fence area where the 52 do, is doing a couple thousand and then the 60 is doing X thousand. Well, all the customer will see is Facebook or the lawn mowing at $31.60 with the drive time. So now we've got a budget of time for drive time with a charge and expense, and now we have a charge on site. Um, so we've broken these out internally, but all the customer sees is this. So literally all we would literally have to do is hit save now, scroll up here, hit email, and this automatically would load. We had to obviously hit quote and then hit email. And now this automatically merges into a pre-built email that you would have document and it would fire it off to the customer where they could go in and click a link and view and accept the estimate live online. And this would be the estimate and the pricing link would be clicked here. So that would be the workflow for lawn mowing. Now we're gonna have the same exact process for hardscaping. So I'm gonna go in um, and show you what that looks like. But I, I, as far as the detail of the lawn mowing, that's how we set this up. And now in a hardscaping or mulching job, I'll show you what this kind of looks like. So the first step again is gonna be able to create the custom fields. Um, so I want to go in and create uh, bed square footage. I want to create in drive time, uh, a skid steer, bed length, and maybe a dumping feed. So the first thing you do is you're going to set up your custom fields. You're going to set up your services and then your template. So um, get near the end. We've got 11 or 12 minutes left. So I'm going to go into the hardscaping example. And then uh, later today or next week, I'm going to go into a special Facebook Live just for the home cleaning industry. So I can spend 45 to 50 minutes going in the home cleaning to show you exactly how to do uh, each type of cleaning. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into custom fields. We're going to add in, uh, this is for a hardscaping or like mulching example. Uh, so Facebook, uh, we're going to call this bed square foot. We could call this square footage of hardscaping area, paper patio, whatever you want. Associated customer value type is number. Um, we're going to hit save and new. So that's our parent service. Everything underneath it is going to be considered a child service. Uh, when we do save and new, it's going to uh, let us do that. So we're going to go in now and go into uh, Facebook skid steer, we'll call it. And number, save and new. And we'll probably go in now and do bed length so linear length of the bed for maybe cutting the bed out and we're going to do i think that should cover most of it and now we're going to go in and hit see our scheduling settings and we're going to go set up our services same exact process just a little bit different than the mowing example uh there's two different ways to tackle this too so i know one of the biggest questions is materials do we use them as a modified service or do we actually add the products in products will not be based on a square footage you will have to know your product value like far as uh, one yard or 10 pallets if you do it as a service the um the calculations will be there. So if you put in a hundred square feet, it will calculate how much mulch you need. So that would be 
my recommendation to be able to delegate it, but it can be do fun, done both ways. I'm going to show you as a modified service, uh, but it can definitely be added as a product as well. Good thing about a product, though, is you can check the actual over or under how much product you use. So there's a check and you won't be able to close out and bill out the invoice if you set it that way. So that's that's positive. Um, so services here in this example, we're going to create the, the master parent service for mulching. And like I said, if you have any comments, questions, drop below, live or recorded, happy to answer them as well. Uh, but we're going to go in and put Facebook Live Mulch Install. This will give you an idea if you're doing hardscapes as well how to do this um, for this example. We're going to put our code in. We are going to make it taxable. Service mode is flat. Estimate invoice description. Estimate description. Under details again, we want to select the account. And rate matrix, we can leave this blank. So we're going to save this in new. Now, that's also going to grab that as our parent service again here once it comes up. So we're going to go in now and do uh, Facebook skid steer for mulch. Parent service is Facebook mulch install. So now every time we do this, this comes up under mulch install. We're going to hit estimates only and rate matrix so uh, we're going to do quantity rate times visits we're going to base this on facebook skid steer and we're just say from every one to one days that we're using the skid steer uh we're probably going to charge let's just say that machine's costing us 900 dollars and a budgeted cost of maybe 500 dollars to operate that would be taken off your overhead recovery sheet that more system there and, we, and for good practice, we're going to copy that over. So if it's a multiple day job, we can uh, do that again. So now we've got a cost for the machine and equipment to recover. We're going to save a new. We are going to do uh, mulch materials. Actually, yeah, we'll do mulch labor. Quantity read times visits. This is going to be based on bed uh, square footage. There. And we're going to go back to our cheat sheet and scroll over here. And we should have one built out. So mulch install. This is labor. Every one to 300 square feet, we're charging uh, in this fictitious example $50. So we're saying we can install one yard per. Hour the cost of 50 bucks and break even at 40. So one to 350. Budget one hour and a cost of $40. Now we said, okay, let's look at this. And for every 100 square feet over 300 is $16.67. 300 a day, so we'll put that in there, $16.67. And that's 0 0.33 hours and 13.33. Now we have a base price of 300 square feet for the mulch at 50 bucks, labor only, budgeted for an hour and a cost of $40. And then every 100 square feet over the base price of 300 is $16.67 more labor, 0.33 man hours more, an additional cost of $13.33. So we're going to save a new, and then we're going to go back to our cheat sheet. We're going to do mulch material. Estimates only. Rate matrix, once again, with quantity of rate times visits based on turf square or bed square footage again. And that's going to be 1 to 300. We're going to go back to our cheat sheet here that we've created already. Oh. Material with 10% markup, $38.50. Uh, we're charging for materials with a break-even cost of 35. So if we're buying it for 35, we're charging $38.50. $38.50. 
the budget hours alone, there's nothing there because we've already accounted for that in the labor. Now we're going to say whenever 100 square feet over 300, it's $12.83 more for materials and a cost of $11.55. And we're going to save that and new. So we're going to do uh, Facebook drive time. Got our mulch drive time. Same exact process. We add that in and rate matrix that out. And you kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. Then we're going to add in like load time. Uh, dump fees, anything else in there. Uh, so I'm just going to plug some numbers in here real quick so we're being uh, cognizant of everybody's time here. So we've got... Uh, so we did not make a... We did... All right, so there's our drive time. And every one-to-one -one trip here is, let's just say, $50. We're budgeted for one hour and we're breaking even at 40 bucks. Because obviously a mulch job may be there and back. So that's not just the same as a mowing example. And save. So we've got the idea of some of these things now. Uh, we may want to add in bed edging, uh, dump fees, anything that's associated with that load on load time. So next step is we're going to go into templates and build out this mulch template here. And uh, next week or maybe even... Uh, this weekend or later today, I'll, I'll go and do the home cleaning version of this for another 45, 50 minutes. So we want to name the description of this. This is going to be our Facebook uh, mulch estimate. And what you do is you break out these templates for all your jobs or maybe one massive template with all of them. So every time you go in, it just loads. And then we have a document, uh, an estimate document that loads all the time with it as well. Uh, so it's just a streamlined, easy process. So I'm going to search for this Facebook uh, mulch install, apply. And then we're going to click this plus button again and add in the other services. So we've got quite a few of them. So we've got the labor and materials in there. Uh, so we're going to go in now. There's our labor apply. So we've got our labor and skid steer. We're going to add in service again, Facebook mulch. So we've got labor, skid steer, materials. And we can add in the drive time, but you get the idea. So now that we have this all in here, um, this would be the way to go. So let's just say, for instance, uh, there's always a dump fee that we have to, to uh, do with this job. So we could just default that rate for maybe a $50 dump fee. And now you'll never forget it automatically populates. So if your estimator goes in and deletes that to shave the price to get the job, you know they manipulate it. So I'm just going to show you how this works here. So we're going to save it. Save and close. We're going to pull up a example here with a client and get this going here. So as we wrap up, if you have any comments or questions, drop them below. We're happy to take a look and answer them. But I did want to give everybody an idea how to do this in Service Autopilot uh, to make this work. So uh, once again, you can use Maps Pro under the More button, Property Measurements. Uh, if it's a wide open area, landscape beds are easily measurable. Uh, we're going to save that as a custom field, and then the square footage of that turf bed will come up, and the pricing will automatically be calculated off the matrix. So we're going to go and hit Add an Estimate. This screen looks a little bit different. This is what a client screen looks like, a little more information, versus the lead screen that we looked at before. So once you convert a lead to a client, this is what you get in Service Autopilot here. So uh, we're going to go in and hit Add an Estimate to show you how this template loads up and uh, answer any questions that are coming up here live, and then uh, we will get the recorded version of this uh, for any of the other questions. And as that loads up, I'm going to see if there's any uh, any other questions. So once again, we're going to go to templates. We're going to pull that up, and that's going to load everything in there. It'll connect our estimate document so we don't have to. So we can email out that uh, document with the preloaded estimate email. So it's a one-stop process that just goes boom, 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 done. Uh, so once this loads up, I'm going to hit templates. Our mulch install will load, and we are off to the races.
and boom, that easy. So uh, if we did mulch labor, mulch install, the square footage would be in here. Uh, so let's say we wanted to add our two days for skid steer, it's 1800 bucks. Uh, mulch materials, let's just say we had 500 square feet. And let's say we had 500 square feet for the labor. Boom. So we've got labor at 83, materials at 64, skid steer at 1800 bucks. You can have drive time, load time, and everything else in between. All the customer sees is $1,900 at the end. That's how we can go through each step. If you're doing a hardscape or an install to break down each and every level that should be there. So loading, unloading, um, pre-job, post-job cleanup, debris dumping, whatever it is, it should be there. We'll be good to go. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, drop them below here. Uh, but that is production rate based estimating in its simplest form in service autopilot. So uh, all in one solution, especially with Maps Pro, you can measure and enter those custom fields. So uh, thanks again, Mike Callahan, SA Weekly Talk Show coming back to you later next week with home cleaning as well as another rock star interview. Uh, Going to be hanging out at Service Autopilot Live with uh, Service, Auto uh, Service Autopilot Academy uh, Elite Group, uh, teaching some automations and helping the guys and girls academy grow and scale businesses along with uh, Jonathan Petoshek, the co-founder of Service Autopilot. So uh, who knows, probably going to be coming live from SA next week in Dallas. Until then, I will see you.